Alright guys, it's Fade Editing, and today I'm going to show you how to do this really cool effect I've learned in Photoshop. And this is the photo collage effect. And basically you just start with a normal wallpaper or picture. I've chosen Modern Warfare 3 wallpaper. And you can either do this effect with it, which is makes it look like it's all put together with photos on the original wallpaper background. Or you can put it all onto a black wallpaper and just fill up the whole of the thing with the pictures and you can make the pictures out of it so it looks really cool so what we're going to be doing, that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to open up Adobe Photoshop and then drag the picture which we want to do this with into Adobe Photoshop and then right click duplicate the layer and we do this in case we mess up the one we're working with so you just hide the first layer and now we've got this. So you're going to go to the rectangle tool here and press shift and make a nice square effect. There we go, that's perfect. And then we're going to rasterize the layer. So we'll right click rasterize layer and then just move that over a little bit actually. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to just name that one if you just double click on that I'm going to name that black and then with this one you just write you keep clicking on it until it comes up with the layer style and we're going to go to color overlay and put that overlay to white so that's perfect now just press OK and then we're going to press control T which comes up with the option to free transform it and then we're going to do alt and shift at the same time and just drag it outwards and then drag it down a little bit more that should do the job and then we're going to drag this layer underneath the one which was black and now we've got our nice photo effect now so that's perfectly made up so what I'm going to do now is drag the background copy above these two here and then I'm going to right click on here and create a clipping mask and now we've got rid of the background and you just press on the black one and then press shift and then as you can see we just drag this around we can see every part of the wallpaper underneath so if I start over here and we're going to do just control T on these two here so shift on both of them then control T and we can just rotate that a little bit there it's perfect and then we're gonna press on the background copy and press shift on the the white layer you can name it white if you want if that helps and then duplicate all of those layers together and then untick the background copy and press shift on these two again control T and then move that away and we can just rotate that and as you can see it's making a nice collage and then we just keep repeating this process over and over again so I'll do that again we're gonna duplicate those layers and then undo that and press shift on those two and then move that away control T and there we go it's working out perfect now I'll just do a couple more of these to show you what we're, our ending product will look like but obviously oops done that wrong you guys can take much more detail in what you're doing remember to always untick like get rid of that one and unhighlight it because if you see that mistake I made then it drags that picture with it and we don't want that to happen so just press control T again and rotate this and see it, it's just coming along really well now so it, if you want to have the effect where it had the background the, like the original one you just show that again so that's hiding it that's showing it and there we go we've got a nice effect over the top of it and if we just want to have the black background on the back of it we just press the new insert there and I'm going to get the 
black the gradient tool there and I'm gonna make these two colours black and then just do the gradient and there we go we've got the black bit on the background and if I go to do this again do this one more time duplicate layers and then just highlight these two press oops what am I doing and then press control T and there we go we've got a nice just keep redoing it over the top of that and the picture that we are working with in the first place is turning into a collage on a black background so that's the tutorial today guys you just keep redoing the process so I'll just tell you it one more time click on this here go to the third one down press shift on our keyboards and then right click duplicate layers okay and then we'll unhighlight the top one and press shift on these two and press control T on our keyboards just rotate that wherever you want and there we go guys that's the tutorial thanks for watching hope it helps I really like this tutorial myself with all this effect so thanks guys see you later